This is the program that I'm going to run that's going to put a half 13 thread on a half inch shaft. Um, first one is just a setup line. Second line says we're going to use tool 5. Then MO8, we're going to turn on the coolant. And then we have uh, just a bunch of moves to get the tool in position. And then MO3, that's we're going to turn on the spindle at 250 uh, RPM. And it's not RPMs, it's RPM. Then G76 is the actual cycle, the threading cycle. X.4084 uh, is the depth of the thread. Z.05 is how long the thread's going to be. It's going to be a half inch. Q2, we're going to do two spring passes. Q is spring passes. P, 0 0.07692 is the pitch of the thread. That is how far the thread travels in one revolution. J is the minimum depth per pass. H is the depth of the first pass. So I'm going to go four thousandths. I'm going to change J to five. I don't want it to go too much. Save that. Um, I is the uh, angle um, the end feed angle, 29 degrees, typically on a 60 degree thread. C is the clearance, so we want it to back off that far when, it, when the tool comes back. B is the depth of the clearance pass, that's one ten thousandth of an inch. And T is a taper, you can actually make a tapered thread, we're not going to do a taper on this one. And then M9 uh, end of program M5 is going to turn off the spindle. M30 is going to rewind. That's the program we're going to run. I'm going to move the camera. Um, there's not much to see here. You'll just see it step down. And I'll show the actual threads being cut. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hit cycle start. Back for tool change. All right. There you have it. It's got a good feel. It's not loose. So everything works out well. Now in mock, you have to give it a shallow first depth of cut because that will determine how many cuts because mock does not do a constant material removal. Some fancier programs can do that. Maybe Mach 4 can do that. But if you give it too much of a start and cut, you'll get way too much cut on the last passes because you're cutting so much more material as the thread gets deeper. 
This lathe just has a standard AC motor with driven, uh, it's a three phase motor driven by a ver uh, variable frequency drive. It only has a single pulse counter, so every revolution Mach receive, receive one pulse. And by that one pulse, it's able to time the uh, uh, when it's going to go in and, and line up the threads so it doesn't bugger them up, just like the, uh, the half nuts on a regular thread, uh, lathe. Okay, we're going to do a little experiment here. Mock should be able to recut those threads in the exact same position as long as you haven't moved the material in the chuck um, or in the uh, collet because the pulse signal is always in the same position. So this is handy if it didn't cut the threads deep enough the first time you can come back change the tool wear and re run the program it'll recut the threads deeper depending on how you set the tool wear. So let's see if it's going to work. I'll go ahead and hit cycle start here. Come up for tool five. Little dwell. I added that dwell right there. Yeah, it's like